Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another compressor review. Last time we looked at the 12 volt um, King Max, Royal Max compressor, 12 volts, and it worked out really well, did the job, lasts for a while. I've had this for uh, quite a bit and it's uh, still going strong. The button hasn't worn out and it gives me decent results when I'm traveling out in the go no problems with uh, moisture and all that so this dispels a lot of rumors out there that people are looking at it and going eh, not sure rather stick on something that costs uh, many and many hundreds of dollars though seeing it in an expensive Japanese apartment store that changes everything uh, now I've come across a 240 volt uh, version or 240 volt transformer version that goes down into uh, 12 volts and this is the uh, Vogue Air model. Uh, this was uh, shipped to me within Australia. Um, the salt mines uh, does uh, sell them as well though uh, other countries that have similar power requirements could also uh, find it through other uh, distributors. So it comes with the same uh, braided hose We've uh, got the uh, proper uh, double insulated power supply. Our compressor that uh, has a, a stepper setting for uh, different PSIs, I would assume. We'll uh, have a bit of a play of that. Does not have um, a bleed out uh, valve like uh, this one. We will uh, test if uh, that works out. A uh, water trap, or filter I should say, and your st standard high sing airbrush which uh, we won't even bother cracking it open, we'll just use what I already have um, on the shelf. So it's uh, completely lit up like a Christmas tree, we've got on and off, and our three uh, different uh, modes or pressures, so you can tell this is definitely more of a um, nail polish uh, rig bit of a hole to stick your airbrush in. We've got three holes. Uh, this one's power. This one is where um, the hose attaches. Uh, that looks like a hose attachment but um, there's nothing going all the way through so it could be some sort of a uh, decoy or um, attachment for a different model of our compressor that utilizes a rubber hose. Uh, this is how loud it gets and it's uh, fully on. doesn't vibrate around which is good and uh, the airbrush sits in comfortably with the uh, filter at the bottom. It's a bit of an improvement, but uh, what I don't like, because the regulator does not uh, bleed out the air, when you push it down there's a sudden expel of air and it maintains uh, the same level. We'll put some paint in to see if it pulsates or if uh, that's pretty smooth, but once we uh, lower it, so does the PSI. But feeling on my hands, uh, the difference is really not that much difference. I think it's more about when you let it build up and it's quite strong. It's less strong and it's just very, very gentle. So um, that's a huge uh, disadvantage for me. I do not like uh, that lack of control and adding on your own um, bleed out valve uh, could be pricey and difficult as there isn't anything readily available on the market at the moment kind of makes uh, the other one works out but if this is the only model available to you it's perfectly just as um, acceptable for the price this is just uh, nitpicking so we've got some paint loaded up into the airbrush we'll uh, turn it on and this is its strongest mode so we'll do the uh, jet bubble technique Very, very smooth. That is actually very, very impressive. I am frankly surprised it doesn't cut out. And there's quite a bit of control for the strongest mode. So let's try the middle mode.
and it paints very small lines very easily. And it doesn't uh, struggle with the larger lines. Now, on the lowest, you can hear that it's uh, definitely on the um, uh, smaller cycles, a lot less air. And it should probably start splattering, which it is a little bit. But I'm able to control a lot finer and smaller lines. Very, very smooth process. It doesn't have the same control as the King Max with uh, the bleed out. That's its only disadvantage. But with the dedicated um, 240 volt power supply or 110 um, separate power supply if you're buying in another country, that's uh, perfectly acceptable. So realistically, I would say both compressors are really well done, really, really good. It doesn't matter which one you get, it'll be a very reward rewarding experience if you're buying it as a transportation or uh, a mobile airbrush rig, or if you're just a casual uh, modeler, airbrusher, painter. At um, a fraction of the cost of a whole setup, very worthwhile. This is a very, very, very good setup definitely throw my support behind it and we'll get in nice and close and have a look at those uh, lines on paper again you don't see any uh, gaps or pulsing it's just a spray it's a uh, very smooth evenly clean spray again these compressors get a lot of um, flack a lot of criticism of just not being powerful enough not having the right facilities regulation control or filters but in fact, that it does have a more updated uh, modern version or equivalent of them. They work very, very well. Someone who's a little more professional, involved, or got a larger income, you can get a bigger um, compressor. But for everyone else, there's no reason to jump on these. They are absolutely adequate and fantastic. So the Vogue Air Compressor and Heising airbrush combination if uh, seen in any outlet that you're uh, purchasing, buying, looking to acquire an airbrush is uh, perfectly acceptable to um, get and buy it uh, definitely has my um, signature of uh, approval I'm not going to keep it, I will sell this one off, I'm going to keep my King Max and any other 12 volt compressor that I do come across, I shall uh, purchase, review and uh, move on until we've seen uh, the lot of them pass through this uh, channel. So definitely if you're looking for a backup compressor job, something to use on the go, uh, mobile, or if you're painting something like a car or larger objects that um, hauling around a compressor is difficult, highly recommended worth getting it and after using um, my other one for more than a year still going strong doesn't overheat as badly as I originally reported um, in the first video so you can be a little more free and um, easy going with it just uh, turn it off when you're cleaning the paint out and changing colors and away you go nothing else to be really uh, mindful of Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. We upload videos at least once a week on this channel. And um, leave any questions. I'm very happy to answer them in private messages or the comment section below. Check out the description for uh, more resources, links, sources, all that sort of stuff. And we have a Facebook uh, page for work in progress. There's other content, things that are shared ways to access me all that sort of stuff we've got some interesting things happening in the future so stay tuned and check out how um, you can benefit from it catch you guys next time